All right, all right. All right, we are here and we have a project for the day. Want to tell everybody what we're going to build? We're going to build a hovercraft. We're going to build a one man hovercraft for JT. It might work for me too. So, what we're going to start off is we want to show you the different pieces that we have and then we will assemble them. All right, here we go. Let's turn around. First, we're going to start off with this piece of plywood right now. So, my biggest worry is weight. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to be good or not. It's It has to be strong enough for JT to be able to sit on, but it's got, it can't be too heavy that the to be able to get him off the ground. You're going to see our surprise how it's done. Now, we're going to cut that piece of wood. All right, a reciprocating saw that looks like this. So, y'all all know how to do it. Get you a saw that can cut your piece of plywood into a circle. We'll be doing that in a little bit. Then we have to go to Lowe's. Now, what we're gonna, these are different things we have. We're gonna have first a bucket. You're gonna need some plastic. Now, your plastic needs to be durable and strong. This says it's extra heavy. All right. And lastly, you'll need some duct tape. Those are our pieces. What do you think, JT? Good. Fist bump. Boom. Get back with you later. A circle what do you think good it's good all right this is where it's gonna go just like that so I've got to cut a hole right down here for that so I'm gonna draw a little circle all the way around and I'm gonna try to cut that hole out that's gonna be tough all right here we go get back with you all right now, I've got taken, I've got my plastic sheet here, and what we're going to do is we're going to have to cut it up. So, first tool we like to use, little outdoor knife here, check it out. Let's do a little reveal here. Yes, isn't that pretty cool? Nice. You like that, JT? A survival knife, they can do it quite a bit. Let's cut this right here. Very good. Nice, sharp. That's all we needed that for. So we'll put that away. Then we'll move on to the next part. Was that cool? Fist bump. Boom. All right, this is the part of the project that has my biggest worry. First, we've got our plastic and it's, it's two millimeters thick or two mil thick is what the plastic says. And this, it's just so see-through, I don't think it's strong enough. But we're gonna go with it with what we have right now. Maybe it'll work for a little while, maybe not. We'll add some more to it if we need to. But we're gonna trim this up, make it kind of a circle. And uh, here we go, let's do it. All right, JT, so got our circle. That's where our leaf blower is gonna go. And we will put our uh, bucket over here for you to sit on here in just a little bit. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it up here. We're going to leave a little slack. You got to leave a little bit of room, I imagine, for this to blow up underneath. So I'm looking at maybe, I'm going to try to get about three, I'm going to call it, you know, one finger long. There we go, about a finger long around this whole thing. Tape it up right there. We'll take it just little by little at first, and then we'll add to the other one. JT, where's our new tape? Did you get that, please, over there? Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, my sisters. So I have this all taped down, and I think I'm gonna once I blow 
with the leak blower into the hole we've made that it'll show if we have any leaks or not. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to tape this down right here with the trigger facing J JT. All right, so JT, come here. Okay. Okay. You just hold this. Actually, it's holding pretty good. You stay on it. All right, hold that up where it doesn't fall. Kind of help them keep it straight. And. See if that's enough or not and uh here we go let's pop our battery into here don't stand on it and let's just see what happens step back right here come up here let's see what in front of it let's just see what happens without jt on it let's see if it can pick itself up are you ready three two are you ready what <laughs> You say it. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? Cool. <laughs> All right, so I saw one little place that air's going out. <laughs> oh, <wait>. <laughs> <laughs> Because you need a helmet. Go put your helmet on. <laughs> Here. Here we go. All right, let's just sit on it really good right in the middle. I got to figure out which way it's going to go. Here we go. Three, two, one, and you can hold on to it. Fire. Blast fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, JT, what do you think? Good. You ready to get on it again? Okay, hop on there again, and let's see what happens. All right, three, two, one, go. Cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, give me a fist bump. All right, we've had some fun with this. We're going to play with it a little bit more. Oh, and maybe we'll make some adjustments on it. Anyways, go make you a hoverboard. This is a good way to start it. And three, two, one, blast off! Blast off! Go! <laughs> one more time. Ready? Go! Go ahead. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's coming to pieces. All right, so we learned something from this experiment. And uh, this is a very doable job. It's gonna be something neat, so. I'll call this part one of the hovercraft, and we will get back with you because I have some ideas. It may not happen anytime soon, but I have some ideas that's gonna make part two of the hovercraft pretty amazing. 
I can see this being a really cool thing, a fun thing that JT and I could play with for a long time. Anyways, again, thanks for watching. Tell everybody, thanks for watching, subscribe and all that. Thanks for watching, subscribe. Appreciate y'all.